In this video, we will look at how to introduce timing information for entities with the help of timeouts in a Simovance model. We currently have a model of a restaurant. Let's quickly go over the key components of the model. The entity generator and the entity scopes are used to create and view the entities which represent the customers of the restaurant. We assign attributes to these entities using the set attribute block and modify the attributes using a MATLAB script in the attribute function block. We have a queue that models the customers waiting in line and a server that represents the actual food service where the service time is determined by an attribute of the entity. Let's now use the other attribute of the entity to determine the behavior of the entity in queue. Let's say we want to model impatient customers who leave the queue if their wait time exceeds a certain value. And let's specify this value using the attribute patience. The schedule timeout block can be used to keep track of the time an entity spends in an entity path during simulation. This block can be found under the timing sublibrary. Since we want to measure the time an entity spends in queue, we can place this block before the FIFO queue block. In the block parameters, we can set the timeout interval from field to be an attribute and select the attribute patience. Now, Entities that spend more time in the queue than the value specified by the attribute patience will time out. In the FIFO queue block, we can enable the timeout port for the timed out entities to exit. These entities can be viewed by an entity counting scope. The entities who do not time out will proceed ahead and make it past the queue. There, we can use a cancel timeout block to remove the time counter. Running the simulation, we can observe a more realistic model of the restaurant, where a few entities or customers leave the restaurant when waiting for a table. In this video, we learned how to use the schedule and cancel timeout blocks to keep track of the time an entity spends in path. We then compared this timing information with the attribute patience to model impatient customers who leave the queue when waiting to be seated.